Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. Today we are doing something a little bit funny, a little bit silly, a little bit fabulous, and that is I have dyed my hair. Yes, indeed, it is dyed. Um, I have left the exact dye that I used in the description box below. And before you think, <laughs> have you taken up DIY cosmetology? Uh, well, yes, but <laughs> that's not the point of this video. <laughs> this is a plot twist, right? So this is protein fiber attached to my head. Ergo, if I use a natural protein fiber dye on my hair, I can also use it on wool. Enter henna. Henna has been something that I've wanted to dye my hair with for years and years and years and years, but for some reason I didn't. There was some myths about how henna can make your hair icky and horrible, um, perpetuated mostly by people who didn't understand how henna was applied traditionally. Um, so I finally, you know, I wanted to grow my hair out blonde. It was a whole thing I got about here and I was like, I just look beige. <laughs> Everything about me is beige. <laughs> it was really not working for me. I just didn't feel it. And um, fun fact, I am uh, genetically speaking a redhead. I did have strawberry blonde hair initially that faded more towards a regular blonde color. Um, I have all of the weird medical quirks um, that go with red hair. So when I did finally dye my hair red, in a very natural tone, it blew my mind. Like, so people who have body dysmorphia, this is sort of a dopey example, and I'm not comparing it to like intense body dysmorphia, but when they do something and it affirms their identity and they look in the mirror and they have this moment, I feel like I had a similar moment of, oh my gosh, this is definitely, if it's my coloring, if it's my personality, I really love it, and I feel like I have come home to myself in a new way. <laughs> so there you go. There's my spiel about going ginger. Um, and so yes, it is a. I'm naturally a redhead, both genetically and I use henna, which is natural. So therefore, I am naturally a redhead. <laughs> this is my natural shade. <laughs> Anyhow, so right. I left in the description box below the kind of henna powder that I used. I got it on Amazon. It was quite affordable. And I am going to let past me take you through the adventure of dyeing my hair. And then we will meet back because I am going to talk to you about the fiber that I dyed. stripped my hair with Dr. Bronner's. You can see I have quite a bit of root action. I was trying to grow it out to go back to blonde, but when you just have the blonde, I feel like I'm matte. <laughs> Hello, my name is Grace. I have one shade of beige. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, and my favorite hair color has always been um, red. I, fun fact, have the red hair gene. I uh, have many of the medical issues that go with having red hair, um, but do not actually have red hair. So I think my soul needs the red hair, right? But here's what we're working with. It's pretty fried. I have low porosity hair and I served it with Dr. Bronner, so it's kind of gross. So we'll see how it goes.
I feel like this is taking a long time. My hands are beautiful though. I chose to process with my bare hands because A, I have a lot of like memories associated with henna that are really positive. And also it was hard for me to feel from a sensory perspective what was going on without my bare hands. Oh, there's some more. <laughs> and I really prefer it. I think it's nice. So I have it set for an hour and a half. I process my sample for, it's also so smoothly, look. I have severe cranial edema. <laughs> yes, baby? Okay, well we gotta put some uh, winter stuff on because it is cold out there. <laughs> we had an ice storm yesterday. So anyway, I pressed most of my sample for the process, my sample, for um, 45 minutes and then an additional, however long, I forget. <laughs> I'm also going to do my eyebrows, um, but I want to do my hair first, and if my hair looks good with my eyebrows, then I'll leave my eyebrows alone. My eyebrows have been a point of contention for myself for a long time. So. <laughs> But yeah, that's where we're at. Feels hot and damp. And that was another thing I thought. Um, my sample got dry really fast, um, so I didn't know if that inhibited dye take up. I mean, clearly it would, but I don't know how dramatically. So, and then the henna fiber is soaking in water because I wanted to disperse it. So I cleaned out my dye bowl with the wet roving and then I put it in a dye bath and I've weighted it down. So I'll pull that out when I'm finished taking the shower from this since it's so much denser than my hair. My hair also is a really uh, low porosity, so it might take a while to process. It's up to four hours, so I don't know if I should do it more or less than an hour and a half. I mean, an hour and a half is just under the half mark. Um, and oxidiz oxidization, oxidization, that's a hard word to say, will occur and it will darken over time too, so. I don't wanna be impatient, maybe I should wait for two hours. But I also don't wanna end up with like too dark hair because then it will just get darker. I think less is more and I have three more boxes so if I need to do it again in a week I'll do it again in a week. All right, so you saw in the video that I dyed my hair and then I dyed fiber with that same henna. And I knew that it was going to be quite blotchy as part of the reason why I used a dry braid of fiber and in a braid configuration. Um, I knew it was going to be an uneven dye job. I also knew that I wasn't going to get intense coverage the first time around. I did that on purpose. One, because I wanted to see how it changed over time, how the oxid oxidization works, which is a hard word to say, and how it looked spun up in that more mottled, uh, subtle. Did it go kind of a pale pinky color or did it stay mottled? And it stayed pretty mottled and I really enjoy the color it is now. Tons of people on Instagram really loved it, but I do think when I'm finished knitting with it, I may over dye it again, which will give me speckledy bits of more and less dye concentration. So I think that will be very interesting as well. Um, as far as the fiber itself, it is a mystery exotic blend. It is from Paradise Fiber, Fiber of the Month Club, 
which I highly recommend. I have links down below for that. Um, I have a ton of unboxings there. Um, and I don't remember what it is. It's an exotic of some kind. It's soft, it's white, it's got something that's not sheep in there. That I don't think it's silk. I think it's a blend of um, interesting plant fibers. It's not bamboo, it's not flax, it's something. It may be one of their mint tops, I'm not sure. Anyway, I don't know what it is. It's a mystery, but it is really beautiful. And it has gorgeous drapes, so I spun it in a light fingering weight to ply. Um, and the plan is, <laughs> I'm gonna knit it into a hat to go with my hair because I think that would be really funny. I will see you back at the end when we're finished.
Oh. Careful, buddy. Sorry. That's okay. Wait. Don't touch it. You can speak into it. I'm Beanie and I I need to get something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it is brought to you by our Patreon people. Because our this Patreon... is my Percy. All right, thank you for watching this video, and I want to give a special shout out to our Patreon Patreon yes. Patreons. Yes, mommy said I you. I think you have to say it was good video. A mommy shout out to mommy. Oh yeah, hit that like button if you liked it. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these shenanigans. And uh, if you're a Patreon person, you have supported us through our dormancy um, while we, my whole collective, got some uh, much needed therapy. And, 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 and mommy's, I will talk about the other ones. Okay. He was knitting a new one for my both of my bears and I and they'll have both hats and, and they'll special to me and 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 and, and I hope you like that but then you have to see more of that when you put the button of it. <laughs> I should hire you for my PR. Yes. <laughs> so. All right, yes. Yeah, so Patreon people, you guys are rocking. And it is a rock, 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 beanie. Da 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 da